Hi friends, welcome to Shiva Sai for you Basic Electronics YouTube channel. Today's topic is voltage regulator concept. So I am achieving constant output voltage any variation in input voltages. Okay, with the help of Zener diode. So therefore we can use Zener diode as a voltage regulator uh, concept. So based on this topic, the question they can ask it as you explain the operation of simple shunt Zener voltage regulator. See, this is a basic circuit for Zener voltage acts like a voltage regulator. Okay, this is a Zener diode symbol. This Zener diode connected across the load. That's why it is called shunt regulator. Okay, got it? Basic shunt regulator, shunt voltage regulator. See now, what is Zener diode? Zener diode is nothing but a junction diode specifically designed to operate in the reverse bias mode. Okay, got it? So therefore, we need to connect up Zener diode in reverse bias with respect to input voltage. See, your input is unregulated DC input. Okay, plus and minus. That is denoted by VIN. Variations will be there like 10 volts to 20 volts. I can vary this voltage. Okay, so now any variations in this input voltage, output voltage you should get constant. Output voltage you should get constant. That is called regulated output. Otherwise, constant output voltage. There are two types in constant output voltage. Line regulation, other one is load regulation. In, rain, in uh, line regulation, input voltage is variable. Okay, if any variations in the input voltage, we should get constant output voltage. Output voltage is constant. Other case is load regulation. If any changes in the load resistance value, then also output should remain constant. So this, this can be achieved with the help of Zener diode. Okay. We can obtain constant voltage. Any variations in input voltage, any variations in the load resistance. Got it? So now, conditions. Okay. Let me consider when load is not connected. Okay, only this much. RS and Zener diode is there. So keep in mind, connect Zener diode in reverse bias condition. See, this is cathode, this is anode. Cathode is negative, anode is positive. Negative is connected to positive, opposite polarity. Positive is connected to negative, opposite polarity. Hence, it is reverse bias. Only in reverse bias condition, it acts like a voltage regulator. Then what about in forward bias? It acts like a normal diode. Okay, let's see what happens. When load is not connected, then when your input voltage is just greater than Zener voltage, then what happens? Okay, when our input voltage is greater than Vz, breakdown will occur in the Zener diode. Then what happens? Large current will flows. Excess current, excess Zener current flows in the diode. So that current, okay, whenever this current reaches maximum value, then the diode will get damaged. In order to avoid the, uh, in order to protect the Zener current with high current, sorry, Zener diode with higher current, we have to use a resistor in series with the Zener diode. This RS value going to limit the Zener current when load is disconnected. Got it? That is the important point you should explain. RS is used to limit Zener current when load is disconnected. Got it? That is one point. Next, what happened? Another one. When load is connected, if I connect a load, what happens? Zener current going to get decreased. Why means? The part of the source current will flow through the load resistance. These two are connected in parallel. Some current flows through the load and some current flows through Zener diode. Okay. Earlier, more current is passing. Now, the current flowing through the Zener diode get falls down. Okay. Got it? When Zener current get decreases, when Zener current get decreases, means there will be large value of resistance. Large value of resistance. And when Zener current is maximum, if maximum current is flowing, then it could have minimum value of RS. Okay, if RS is minimum, excess current can easily pass it. Then diode will get damaged. In order to protect the damage, RS should be very large. Okay, got it. So now, uh, for analysis purpose, Okay, you must know the equation. If I start keep varying this RS value, what could be the minimum value of RS? What is the value of maximum resistor? That is important. Let's see. 
we need to write equation for Vz. Okay. Vz means voltage across the load. Got it. Use voltage division rule concept. By knowing input voltage and resistors, we can easily find voltage across any resistor. So I want to find voltage across RN. That is supply input voltage into same resistor divided by some of these resistors. So this is the Zener voltage equation. Okay, got it. When input voltage, when this input voltage is just greater than Zener voltage, okay, then breakdown occurs. Breakdown occurs. Then it will maintain whenever you are V in more than Vz, breakdown occurs. Zener current increases, but voltage maintain constant. Whatever the voltage here, same voltage will be across RL also. Okay. Then what is the maximum value of RS? So from this equation only we can write RS maximum. Maximum value of RS can be made with this equation. RL into V in by V z minus one. Okay, that as you that you can write it as a uh, separate key point. So next is what would be minimum value of resistance? What would be the minimum value of resistance? Look at here input voltage and here at this point we we have V z value. V in minus V z. V in minus V z divided by I z divided by I z. When you will get minimum value of resistance? Suppose if resistance is very minimum. And when the load is disconnected, the excess current is flowing. Excess current is flowing because of minimum value of resistance. Suppose if I kept maximum, that uh, Zener diode is get protected by this resistor. Suppose if it kept minimum, then what happens? Okay, excess current will flow. Maximum current will flow when resistance is minimum. That's why we can write. Okay, R S minimum is equal to input voltage minus V Z. Okay, V in minus V Z divided by I Z. That I Z is maximum Zener current. Okay. So there is some limitation. You cannot uh, uh, allow the Zener current to higher value. You can pass the Zener current should be less than maximum Zener current as per power rating of Zener diode. Power rating of Zener diode specified by the manufacturer. So in such a way that I Z you can allow. You can allow maximum Zener current. But that value should be less than maximum Zener current rating. Got it? So therefore, we can write P Z maximum is equal to what is power formula voltage into current. So V Z into I Z. Okay. From this, we can write I Z is equal to P Z maximum divided by uh, V Z. Now take this equation and substitute here. Put I Z value here. Then what happens? Okay, V in minus V Z divided by P Z max divided by V Z. Further simplification gives V in minus V Z divided by P Z max into V Z. Okay, cross multiplication. So this is the equation. Final equation will be. V in into V Z minus V Z square divided by P Z max. This formula you must remember while solving numericals. Okay. Minimum value of R S is V in V Z minus V Z square by P Z max. Maximum R S is R L into V in V in by V Z minus one minus one. Got it? Understood? So this much equation you must write it. What is P Z max? Maximum power rating of the Zener diode. So, if you pass some current, maximum power rating exceeds means then Zener diode will get damage. Okay, understood, guys. So, what you must remember is in the explanation you must write Zener diode will act like a voltage regulator only in reverse bias mode. Okay, reverse condition. Okay, keep in mind. So, ultimately. See when V input is just greater than V Z, just greater than V Z, breakdown occurs. Okay, as soon as breakdown occurs, then Zener current starts flowing in the uh, device. Okay, and there is a limitation of passing that current. That current should not cross I Z max. Okay, so this is valid. This 
concept is truly valid when load resistance is infinity when load resistance is infinity means infinity means what open circuit okay open circuit resistance is very high infinity under open circuit this is the condition to achieve breakdown for zener diode okay when load resistance is infinity otherwise load is disconnected got it not this is not true when load is connected when load is connected you must remember this formula your input voltage okay should be greater than should be greater than rl plus rs divided by rl into vz into vz got it not always input voltage just more than vz breakdown will not occur practically the values of rl and rs plays an important role okay for breakdown uh, occur in the zener diode okay got it understood so till here you should write another easy way easy point you can write i hope you have written this i am going to erase this uh, formula okay please pause the video and then copy down look at here graph for this okay graph see guys input voltage this is input voltage and this one is output voltage okay output voltage short form i am writing see if input voltage increase output voltage also increases up to certain value what is that value vz okay breakdown voltage or zener voltage both are same so vz see after this further increase in input voltage your output voltage will not increasing linearly it will maintain constant this is regulated regulated output voltage got it this is a graph for entire uh, explanation understood guys so pause the video and then uh, copy down if you understand this uh, topic share it to your friends and tell them to uh, subscribe our channel okay keep supporting so i will provide a notes once my channel is touched 1k subscribers 100% i will provide notes for all five modules okay i am telling seriously i will provide notes for all five modules for basic electronics and communication in subject only when my channel has touched 1000 subscribers if it is happened after a week immediately i will provide notes whoever asks i will provide notes okay so have a nice day take care meet you on next lecture numericals on zener voltage regulator till then bye bye